Our hospitalizations have declined this week, but remain high with 726 people in hospital, including 119 admitted to the ICU. Unfortunately, 16 new deaths have also been reported to us in the last 24 hours. I extend my sympathies to all who are experiencing loss at this time, whether from COVID-19 or any other cause. Every death leaves a hole in the lives of those who love them, and current restrictions make it harder to support each other the way we are used to. I encourage all of us to reach out to anyone we know who is experiencing grief, to support them and let them know they are not alone. As you can see from our numbers this week, our positivity rate, active cases, and hospitalizations are continuing to decline. This is good news. I know the current restrictions are very difficult for many Albertans, including business owners. As I said yesterday, we are on a positive trend. Our numbers indicate that the restrictions we put in place last month, while extremely challenging, are helping to prevent more people from, testing, from being exposed and getting sick with this virus. The overwhelming majority of Albertans are doing their part, not only by following the restrictions, but by embracing the spirit of them. We are protecting one another by reducing in-person interactions, which in turn is reducing the number of people who get sick, test positive, and ultimately require hospital care. And with more than 96,500 doses of vaccine administered, thousands of the most vulnerable seniors and healthcare workers now have an extra layer of protection. In a year that has already been extremely difficult, I am proud of the sacrifices and community spirit that Albertans have shown to produce these encouraging numbers. At the same time, we are not in the clear just yet. That is why no additional measures are being eased at this time. There are no changes being announced today. Our cases are falling, but we still have the second highest active case rate per capita in Canada. The last year has, of course, been um, a uh, memorable one, I'm sure, for all of us. I, I know it's been uh, an incredibly difficult year for many Albertans, and I think for all of us there have been a lot of things that we've learned about the virus, about how to control it. Uh, we've learned about how we can support each other to be more resilient together. And, you know, I think ultimately what we've seen when we look at the trajectory of COVID-19 in this province, uh, we've seen our first wave in the spring brought down very quickly by the actions of Albertans coming together and bringing that curve down. We've seen an ability, again, of our collective action to keep those numbers low throughout the summer and early fall. Uh, and we saw that when the numbers started to get a little too high in November and December, when we started to see our healthcare system come under significant threat, uh, that we were able again together to bring those numbers down. And I think it's important to remember, even though we continue to be in a difficult time, and I recognize uh, the challenges not only of COVID-19 pressures, but the challenges of the restrictions, that our best path forward is working together to maintain those low numbers so that we can get back to some of those activities that we all enjoy.